start off with your favourite foundation. I'm going to be using a CC cream today, but if you want to, you could use a regular foundation, you could use a BB cream, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm going to be blending that all over my face, and don't forget to blend it out along the jawline. Once you've done that, you want to move on to a white eyeliner, and you can use whatever kind of product you want for this. You just want a white colour or an off cream colour. Once you've drawn that circle, you're going to draw some lines out from the circle, and then you're also going to outline the nose as well. Start from the corner of the nose and work your way around as if you're drawing a heart. Draw a little sharp point down the middle and then you're going to be lining up from the edges and then draw the other circle around the eye. And again, drawing those lines out from the circle and you want to go through the brows with this and try and fill them in at the same time if you can. Now I'm going to blend out the edges. You could leave them like this if you want to, but I want the edges blended and you can use your fingers or a brush. And then I'm going to go over the edges with a white powder. You could skip this step, but you're going to find that the colours are going to pop out a lot more if they've got something like a powder underneath, because I found that with this particular eyeliner, the colours tend to get a little bit muted if you layer it over. So that's why I'm using the powder. And then I'm going to be using a contour, and I'm going to be bringing that down along the cheekbones and along the jawline. And I'm going to be contouring quite heavily, just because I want a bit of a contrast between that white skull pattern and then my cheekbones. Then I'm going to be moving on to some barium dazzle dusts and then a stencil. If you don't have a stencil like this, just get something like a hole punch, a piece of paper and just punch loads of holes onto it and you're going to get exactly the same effect. And also if you don't have dazzle dusts, just use whatever kind of colour you have to hand. And it's just about mixing them up, so use greens, use pinks, use reds, use blues and then try and have them so that they go all over the face and not too close to each other. I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to be using a black shadow stick. If you don't have this, you could use a black eyeliner basically anything that's black and you want to circle the eyes and get that as close to the edges as possible but because this shadow stick is quite bulky I'm going to be using something a little thinner and then using a liquid eyeliner later on to go around the edges and neaten those up. Then we're going to move on to the nose and again I'm going to outline it with that liquid eyeliner and then I'm going to be taking the shadow stick and going over it and filling it in properly. Back to the eyes I'm going to take that white eyeliner and extend the white line a little bit further down my nose. I want to layer some colours on top of that black eyeshadow so I'm going to be using a pink shade right down the centre of my eyelid and then blending that out and then over that I'm going to be using this lovely blue translucent dazzle dust and I'm mainly going to focus that on the inner corner of the eye and then blend that out. Then I'm going to line the waterline and you can see the difference between one side and the other. And then I'm going to be moving on to my favourite thing, rhinestones. I'm going to add a few right underneath my eyes on the lower lid and then around the edges of the eyes and then having them gradually taper out. For the lips I'm going to be using a colour which is as close to my own natural lip colour as possible and I'm going to be outlining over the edges of my lip line and then later on I'm going to be blending that out with my fingers. Obviously you could use a brush if that's what you prefer to do but I prefer to use my fingers just because I find that I can get a slightly messier gradient which is what I'm looking for at the moment. And then on the lower lip, what I'm going to be using is a colour which is slightly darker, just underneath the lip, and then in the inner corner and blend that up. This time I am going to be using a brush to blend that out. Then once those colours are blended out, I'm going to be moving back to the nose, and I'm going to be using a white liquid eyeliner. Now the easiest way to imagine doing this is you want to create a little point down the centre of your nose, and then you're going to do a whole series of curls and swirls, which are going to spread out from the centre. If you're not sure how to do this, just do one side, and then mirror it on the other, and that's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to add a little bit of pink on my upper lip before I'm going to take that white eyeliner that I just used and you're going to draw some lines which are going to curl up towards the nose and I'm also going to make the edges a little bit more rough. You could leave them nice and neat like this if you want to but I want to make them look a bit rougher. Then I'm going to finish off with some false lashes and if you want to you could do something like having a mask so that that way when you take it off there's this really beautiful mask underneath and a slightly horrifying mask on top or you could wear it just like this. Either way, you're done. Thank you. 